What if you had one camera in one position that would give you multiple camera angles? What you're seeing right now is being shot in the GoPro Hero 11 Black. There's no editing magic here. We've got multiple camera angles because we're shooting in 5K, but most importantly, we're shooting in this insane eight to seven aspect ratio, which gives us something like angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, angle five, it just keeps going. Now to use this, and I'm, I'm crying because it is windy. I'm not crying because I'm sad. To use this, we gotta do a couple of special tricks which are super easy to do in our editing software and we're gonna jump into that right now. No matter what software that you're using for this, it is going to work whether that's Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve. In my case, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro, but the idea here is the exact same. So first up, I'm in a sequence here and the sequence settings for this is 1920 by 960. Once we drop our video in here, we can see it's square, which is a bit bizarre, but remember, we're in the eight to seven aspect ratio on the GoPro Hero 11 Black, which doesn't focus. Well, anyway, you get the drift, right? So on this camera, so this is what it looks like. So this is the maximum resolution and using the full sensor on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. So we can see here, this is not what we want. So how do we go about reframing it in its simplest way? All you gotta do is use the scale and position. So if we use the scale here, we can just start zooming in, just uh, keep it clicked on the number. Alternatively, you can just dial in a number if you want. And then once we get in, we'll say here to 50, we can start moving things around with the position, but we're going, okay, we're getting the black bars at the side here. So we got to move in just another little bit. So we fill the space completely. And then we can just reframe as needs be. So let's say that's angle one. We go to the position on the X axis. That's angle two. We can see if we wanted to have it a little bit more depth here. So you could stuff in like text or motion graphics on the side. We got to just punch in a little bit more. And if you keep control pressed, then you're going to go up in gradual little increments on the numbers as opposed to big jumps. So there's two different angles. Let's say we wanted to go for a close up. Let's go to 100. And then we can just reframe and that's it. Now that's as easy just to get different cuts if you want. So there's a bunch really quickly and you can find all the angles that you want in this eight to seven 5K aspect ratio. Now, what about if we wanna add some movement to it? Because this is such a big image, we can actually animate it without losing any real quality. Now keep in mind, there's only so much you can push this, but let's say we want to go from the angle that we have got on here and we just want to kind of do a slow pull out something a little bit more dramatic. Then, yeah. So we want to hit the keyframes icon, the stopwatch icon here. Let's push these to the very start of the clip and then let's just start bringing this back to wherever you want. Let's go down to 79.7 and then we just want to keep our kind of head central Let's move this over to the left a little bit. And now let's drag these out and just hang on because I've got one bonus tip here again on these. It's going to look really cool. So all I got to do is just go back and press play and we can see it's now moving out. And you can do that to your heart's content. Now on these here, if we highlight the two of these, let's go to temporal interpolation. Big word. I'm barely able to say it. And let's go to ease in. And then if we go to this one here, let's go to the temporal information. Oh, uh, see, I screwed it up. I knew it screwed up. I knew it. I knew it. Let's go to ease out. So what this essentially means is the animation is going to ease out and then it's going to ease in. So it's just a little bit more kind of natural, fluid and organic. So we can see it here. And then it just slows down as it's coming to an end. In addition, we can also click the little drop down arrow here and start moving these arms around and we can have all kinds of different effects in the velocity. So we can start off slow, boom, and then slow right down. So depending on your style and what you want to achieve, it's as easy as that. Now, one more tip on all of this insane reframing functions of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. What if you want to do kind of dynamic movement? What if you want to go from one scene to the next and you don't want to go cut, 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 cut? So let's extend this clip out here of me rabbiting on. I'm just going to click these again. I'm going to delete these keyframes and bring everything back the way it was. Bang, bang. So we go, let's bring this back down to 50. Let's hit our stopwatch icons. So let's say we want to go to a hundred and we want to go to here. We want a flattering shot. Hey, 
And then, well, then we want to, uh, then we want to go back out to here and we want to go up here and we want to reframe. So we can see we're moving along the timeline here bit by bit, which means we're going to start here. Then we are going to punch in and then we're going to go back out and to the actual site. Now, here's the thing. If you want this to look a little bit more natural, all you got to do in what in this case here is copy these keyframes, put them where you want. So these kind of remain static. And then when it's ready to go, boom. And that's how you start using the insane reframe option of the GoPro Hero 11's black sad bad da eight to seven aspect ratio. Now, this is one of the primary video settings that you can change and modify and really get insane footage out of from the GoPro Hero 11 Black. And this video here is an absolute must watch because it goes through all the important video settings for YouTube content creators just like you. And I think you're gonna love it. Enough of the wings. <laughs>